Welcome to the 2017-2018 Media Fan Video No. 2. I am June Corteau, NCA National Coordinator of Officials. One of the points of emphasis this season is freedom of movement. Players must be permitted to move freely without being held, pushed, rerouted, or impeded. Let's review some freedom of movement plays. The offensive post player uses her right arm to hinder and then displace her defender. The trail official correctly calls an offensive foul on blue 23. Let's break down the coverage. With the ball clearly below free throw line extended, the lead visually picks up the offensive player with the ball and defender in her primary coverage area. The trail official visually goes into the post, which is her primary, to referee the competitive matchup in the lane. With no competitive matchup in the center's primary, the center extends into their secondary coverage area to call any obvious illegal action that is not addressed by the trail in the lead. On the entry pass into the post, the post defender uses her left leg and right arm to displace her opponent. Calling this illegal contact supports our efforts to allow for freedom of movement. The lead correctly calls this pushing foul on the defender in her primary coverage area. The center official has a secondary timed whistle on the play and the lead correctly takes the call to the table. Quality call and mechanics on this play. In this screening play to free up the three-point shooter, the highlighted offensive player moves to set a screen on the cutting defender. She initially sets the screen and then repositions late to her left thereby not allowing the moving defender the opportunity to stop and or change direction to avoid contact. This is an offensive foul and a freedom of movement play. The lead official visually focuses on the players in her primary area, referees the screener and the defender, and makes the correct call. Let's review the location of the restricted area and the lower defensive box. The RA is bounded by the outer edge of the four-foot restricted area arc. The lower defensive box, LDB, is an imaginary box designated by two tick marks on the end line and the second lane space marks from the free throw line and distinguishes when the restricted area rule is or is not in effect. Let's look at the plays. In this play, the player makes her move to the basket inside the LDB. The RA is off. She lands and then charges into the secondary defender who is in the RA. The lead official referees the A to B movement of the secondary defender and calls an RA blocking foul. The trail official provides help on the play and informs the calling official that the offensive player with the ball started her move to the basket inside the LDB. This is a straight up block charge play. The offensive player landed and charged into the legal defender. The calling official changes the call and gets the play right with quality execution of LDB help coverage. The highlighted secondary defender moves to defend the dribbler who starts her move to the basket outside the LDB. The RA is on. The secondary defender is in the restricted area to take a charge and the official incorrectly calls a player control foul. In this help situation, the trail comes to the calling official and provides definitive information regarding the location of the secondary defender that she was in the RA. The calling official blows the whistle and emphatically signals a blocking foul and then points to the restricted area. Note, the help official should not point to the RA. Lead officials continue to visually pick up the secondary defender and referee her from the feet up. On this strong side drive, the trail and the center need to position adjust to provide help on this play if needed. At this time of the season, due to the four-foot arc rule change, we are seeing an increase of RA and LDB plays. Stay focused on your coverage responsibilities on these plays. Good job here. The highlighted secondary defender did not establish initial legal guarding position before her opponent left the floor. She is late on this play. Blocking is the correct call, and even though the secondary defender is in the RA, the official correctly does not point to the RA. Remember, 
when you point to the RA, you are saying that the secondary defender is illegal only because she is in the RA. This secondary defender is illegal because she did not establish legal guarding position prior to the offensive player leaving the floor to shoot. Good call here. This media fan video is intended to assist the media and fans in understanding the rules of the game and points of emphasis. There will be additional videos made available during the season to further educate and clarify key plays of the game. Thank you for your support and passion for this great game.